COVID restrictions return to Queensland. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein or cup of coffee. Let's have a look at this latest article from news.com.au because COVID restrictions have returned to my state of Queensland. Now we've just entered the period where vaccine or proof of vaccination must be provided to certain venues. You need to link it to your app or carry around your papieren. But still, we didn't have all of these mandatory masks and other restrictions until right now. (laughs) So... The Queensland Premier announces mandatory masks in retail and transport across the state. Now, don't get me wrong, masks are not much of an effort to wear if you're just jumping in and out of retail. It could be frustrating for people working in there, particularly if you've got a a beard. It's an annoyance. Oh, well. But it, it has been proven to make an impact on the spread of coronavirus, everyone. Okay, that, that, that's now accepted. That's been proven. It does well. It is a low cost way to mitigate the spread. And even though we've got, you know, Omicron spreading like wildfire, although South Africa haven't implemented any new restrictions or changes, and it appears, hopefully, knock wood, that the impact of this variant is not going to be as deadly as the others, it will take some time before the government will change their game plan. Civil servants aren't going to poke their head above the trench and be the one to cop it if it goes wrong. So there'll be another six months to 12 months of this type of stuff, sadly. That's, that's, that's what my gut instinct tells me. Maybe, maybe I'm becoming too cynical. Queensland Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk has made a sudden announcement regarding those currently in or travelling to the Sunshine State. Following a concerning spike in New South Wales, Ms Palaszczuk said mandatory masks will be required in all retail shopping centres and public transport from 1am Saturday morning, given the surge in cases leading up to Queen's Christmas. So 1am tomorrow. The announcement made on Friday morning comes just days after the state reopened borders to vaccinated travellers without the need to quarantine. Masks will now be mandatory in all retail, shops, public transport, with the Premier saying the use of masks will be a small price to pay for freedoms over the festive season just so long as they don't have it outdoors. You know, if they don't have it outdoors, if you're eating outdoors in a well-ventilated space, then it makes sense. You don't need to. What we're seeing in New South Wales is a dramatic escalation in cases, the Premier said. We know families are uniting at this time for Christmas and New Year's. I'm announcing these measures to keep Queensland safe. I want Queenslanders to enjoy their Christmas, so with the Christmas and New Year period, and we will revisit, revise this when we reach 90% double dosks. Masks will be mandatory in shops. Retail will worsen calls. It's a small price to pay for your freedoms. The Premier shut down any suggestions of future lockdowns. That's good. Insisting the mask mandate and vaccinated requirements for restaurants and cafes is a strong enough measure heading into Christmas. We are asking this to slow the spread of the virus. So in shops... And retail, we know Christmas is one of the busiest times of the year for families doing their Christmas shopping. I want Queenslanders to enjoy their Christmas and their holidays, so in retail, I'm asking you to wear masks. Uh, I mean, see, (laughs) I I find it quite uncomfortable. I'm not used to it. It annoys me. I'll do it, though, because I know it will make a difference. But what I'm more likely to do is to avoid shopping if I don't really have to. So, in some way, it's really good for saving money, guys. Ms. Palaszczuk said, In hospitals and aged care, masks will also remain mandatory, along with public transport, airports, and rideshare environments. Workplaces will not require masks. However, the Premier said the use of one is encouraged. From today across the state, pubs and clubs will only be able to accept patrons who are fully vaccinated. However, masks will not be required, but are recommended. Outdoors, going to the beach, masks are not required, she said. Oh, we're starting to see some... We're starting to see it. See, it takes some time for the bureaucrats to catch up to, to the science. That, that's it. You know, that's the reality that wearing masks at the beach probably isn't necessary. Just asking Queenslanders to bring masks back out of at this time. I want everyone to enjoy the Christmas period, so please think about yourselves, your family, and your loved ones, and bring those masks out. On Monday, Queensland reopened the border to New South Wales and Victoria. 
who had been deemed as hotspots for almost five months. No quarantine is currently required for fully vaccinated people who have received a negative test prior to travel. Vaccinated residents entering are still required to enter hotel quarantine for 14 days. The announcement comes as New South Wales recorded 2,213 cases overnight. Earlier this week, Ms Palaszczuk has issued a warning to the tens of thousands of Aussies hoping to get into Queensland before Christmas. Tourists coming into the state who are not abiding by the rules will be putting the entire state at risk, she told reporters on Monday as the borders opened. If they are not abiding by the rules, they are putting the whole state at risk so people know very well, uh, very clearly, there are heavy fines associated if you don't do the right thing. And I was talking to a family member who knows one of the people who's caught the, I think, was it New Newcastle? And then how it got up to here, and they're all asymptomatic, unfortunately. So you can't blame some of these people, can you? Queensland has also recorded an increase in cases. After recording 22 new cases of COVID-19 on Thursday, the highest daily total since August 5th, when 27 cases were linked to the Indrapilly shopping cluster, as at least three of those cases were the Omicron variant. On Thursday, Health Minister Yvot Darth said it was encouraging, sorry, it was courage to wear a mask in heavily populated indoor areas. To enter, enter Queensland from a designated hotspot, Aussies must test negative to coronavirus within 72 hours before entering the state, be fully vaccinated against COVID, and complete an entry pass. Visitors must also be tested on their fifth day in Queensland. Queensland destinations are already booming and said to do so throughout the whole of the summer, with searches for Gold Coast and Cairns jumping 11%, 91%, and 70% respectively. Well, let's have a bit of a talk about this one. Now, the good thing here is no lockdowns. We don't want them to have lockdowns. I, you know, I can see, I'm not surprised that all the implementing masks, it's a very low cost method, low intervention method to put a dent in the spread. They're all freaking out about Omicron, guys. You know, they're worried that the people from Percy I-8 are going to come and get us. Now we just have to hope that this increased surge in uh, infected people with the Omicron variant isn't going to flow through to the ICUs. We're not seeing that happen in other parts of the world. We're not seeing that happen in New South Wales. It'll take a few weeks, but hopefully this can be a good thing. The one concern is the greater the number of people infected with this variant, the greater the chances of mutation and evolution are. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see how that all goes, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And check out this last video I did about grocery prices set to soar. Are you noticing it when you go shopping? I sure am when I do, but I still think everything costs the same when I first moved out of home. Anyway, guys, take care, have a great day, and enjoy the holiday season. Bye for now.